Most companies these days don't share any feedback with you after your interviews, and this can be really frustrating, especially if you don't get the job because you don't know what to fix and improve. So in this video, I'm gonna go over the five most common reasons you're getting rejected and not getting the job that you want. And one of those reasons is that you're talking either too much or too little. Now, if you want more tips on interviewing, resume writing, or switching careers, make sure you click subscribe down below. So what did I mean by talking too much or talking too little? Well, research-based questions like tell me about yourself should have answers between 30 seconds and a minute and a half. Any behavioral questions or any question that starts with tell me about a time should be somewhere between three minutes and five minutes. And hypothetical questions or any question that starts with imagine we asked you to do blank should have answers between four minutes and five minutes. If your answers are not within these exact time frames, then you're either not giving enough detail to your interviewer or you're talking too much and you're boring them. Now, the second most common reason that your interviews aren't going well is because of your answer selection. And what that means is when you're asked a specific type of question to talk about your experience, you might not be picking the best or most relevant example from your work experience to share. So the project that you talk about always needs to be relevant and have a very meaningful result. A result can take the form of a big business impact, demonstrating complexity, solving a new type of problem, or working on a large scale project. Now, reason number three you might be unsuccessful in your interviews is because you're using way too much jargon or buzzwords. Now, consultants usually fall into this trap quite often because that's how we are trained to talk to our clients to sell them projects and convince them that we really know our stuff. Consultants like to use a lot of industry terms, acronyms, and process maps to demonstrate or show value. But in an interview, the interviewer actually wants to know that you really know your stuff and can actually do the work, not just say what the name is. Now, another reason you may be getting rejected in your interviews is if you're using the same example more than once. Usually I see this where people will use the same example because it's one of their favorites or it's their most proud accomplishment and they'll use it in two separate interviews thinking that these interviewers won't be talking to each other and they won't notice that you've used the same example twice. But just so you know, if it really is an impactful and impressive project or example, your interviewers are going to be talking to each other about that project and they'll figure it out. Now, another common thing that I've seen here is if you're asked the same interview question from two different interviewers, a lot of people will assume that they should use the same example both times. Now, usually this is done in an error because there wouldn't be any value gain from asking the same question to the same person twice. So instead, what I would do is I would just politely inform the interviewer that you've already been asked this question and should you use the same example or ask them if you should share a different example instead. Most of the time, they will apologize for the confusion and just give you a totally different question. Now, the last and most common reason that you might be unsuccessful in your interviews is if you are memorizing your answers or reading off of a script and trying to fit your answer to answer every single type of question. It's kind of like trying to fit a square peg in a round hole. When you're practicing for your interviews, don't just memorize your answers. Instead, make sure you have key bullet points and a blueprint or framework that you can use. That way you're flexible and can adapt your answer or situation to the specific type of question. All right, hopefully this video was able to show you where you may be going wrong in your interviews and what to do to fix it. Thank you all for watching and make sure you subscribe down below for more free career content.